Greetings, human creatures. Welcome to another video. Yes, I'm Joe Warlock. I'm your host. Welcome to the show. Today, it's a new box. Yes, I know. Eventually, a new box. Because I cancelled a load of boxes and then got in a load of new ones. And this is one of the new ones. They were kind enough to send me this. It is the power up box from demise.co.uk. Because I forgot who sent it. Anyway, here's the thing three different boxes. There's the adult box, which is this one, which they said, and please let me get this right. Is eleven ninety nine, which makes it one of the cheapest subscription boxes I've ever heard of. There's also a heroes and a princess version, and I've forgotten the price, but I think six ninety nine, maybe, possibly. I'll put a thing if it's wrong. Squeak. Anyway, I have no idea what's going to be in here, so we're going to cut it open. Which I don't know. I feel kind of sad about cutting that bit there, but you know, it's nice to see a new box. Hopefully, it has some decent stuff in. Um, usually, if boxes are starting out, and I think this is one of the first. They're kind of, they're either amazing, terrible, or okay. They're very rarely amazing, but who knows? Oh, hold on. Cut the whole box without, wouldn't it? I'm just, as I keep saying, I'm so tired. I've only just got back from America. Right, the top thing was this, which was cat, cat, hip, 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 American dad. Yeah, they're the words. And then I realized it's not American dad. It is the Society of Superheroes. $4.99, so about three quid. It's a comic. I have no idea. I actually have not a clue. The Multiverse Society of Superheroes. Conquerors from the Counterworld. Doc Fate and the SOS thwart an invasion from a nightmarish parallel planet. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments. I've never heard of this. I have no idea. I'm gonna read it, but just... What? It was like zombies and something and people? Don't know, don't know, but there's three quid straight away. It's something. I thought it was American Dad, and I was like, an American Dad comic? That's interesting. But no, it's a DC comic, which is just as good, if not better. Item two is. Ooh. Oh, oh, there's two bits of cards. Oh, postcards. It's gonna be postcards. They are postcards. Yes, that is what they are. Okay, first up, we have that squeaky little critter, Pikachu, recently seen in Detective Pikachu. I can't do the voice, please. Or something stupid like that. I don't know. That hurt my throat. But yes, there's Pikachu munching on a... A nut? Could be anything. Could be anything at all. Nice little picture though, if you like Pokemon. It's something. Post to your granny. Do people ever use postcards anymore? Curious. If you do, let me know. And also let me know why. There's a thing called email. Anyway, there's also this guy. Who is um that real famous Pokemon? And we call him Purple Swede Man. I have no idea. He looks terrifying. Is that actually a Pokemon? That's tough the head. That's dim. Oh, that's all the tape. That's don't. I don't even know. Just the power of purple hatred. That is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I don't know a lot about Pokemon, so this is Purple Swede Man to me. It's a postcard. It's a postcard. Is what it is. Two Pokemon postcards. Quid. Two quid. Taking in the offers? I don't know. A uh, couple of quid, something. They're things. Item three is. Oh, okay. An extra life keyring. Keyrings. Keyring. There we go. Keyring. Uh, two to three quid. I've got thousands if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, why not? Go and follow me now. Uh, yeah. Extra life keyring. Exceptionally heavy. I don't know if that relates to anything or it's just extra life because in every single computer game ever, you want an extra life. Apart from every computer game ever which doesn't have extra lives. But every other one, extra life keyring. That's a couple of quid. Fashion jewelry. Is it fashion jewelry? Is that really fashion jewelry? That seems strange. I'm not even sure that's the right packaging for that keyring. Hmm, but it is an extra life keyring. It's something, two or three quid. It's okay. So far, keyring's all right, comics all right, postcards are kind of meh. But there you go, next item is. Oh, hi. This is, <laughs> hi, like he's gonna speak. Nickelodeon's t uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Donatello. Ah. Oh. My history of the turtles. Love the turtles. Read the original stuff. Read the newer stuff. Read the Archie's version. Read loads of stuff. IDW's version. Brilliant. Saw the cartoons. Love them all. Love the films. 90s films. Fantastic. Um, Nickelodeon ones. I don't think I've seen. And I love Donatello. Donatello's my favourite turtle. I had caps and all kinds. I had a cap. I had a real nice cap. A Donatello on. I wore it every day of my life. Up until about the age of... Seven, when I was in a Bible camp somewhere and some American stole it and I was really unhappy. So that was fun. I was already unhappy because I was in a Bible camp. But I was very unhappy when someone stole my cap. 
Anyway, yes, it's a pixelated version of Donatello, which reminds me of, um, I'm gonna get the name right, Retrocade? Yestercade? Something Cade? It's a place in, um, Red Bank in New Jersey. It's stunning. You pay like $5 to go in or $7 or something. And it's just arcade machines. And I went in last week and they had this, just they've got the Turtles, the original Turtles arcade game. And it's brilliant and solid and I died many times. But here is Donatello with his bow staff. Uh, this is actually a really cool design. I actually like the pixelated designs. I didn't think I would like the pixelated version of, um, of these Funkos. But that's really nice. Shell's a bit odd, but it works. You know it's Donatello. I really like that. I don't know why I like that. It's probably because I like Donatello, but I do really like that. Simple detail, simple design. Kind of looks like something you'd build in Minecraft, maybe. I don't know. It's a Donatello Funko. What do they go for? Like five quid? Ten quid at a push, but I like five quid minimum, usually. Actually, legitimately, very, very happy with that. And I don't know why, but I am. Item... Five, I want to say five, is... Okay then. Um... What in the world is this from? Oh, it's a... Haha! <laughs> yes, it's it's Lego Thanos. Look, ah! I'll snap my... Oh, I haven't got the power going honestly. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Thanos. He's... Grr, fight him with all your other Lego figures and stuff. I mean, he's purple. It's Thanos. He's got a sword. I hope it's Thanos, otherwise I've made a mistake with another very large purple dude, and I'm very, very sorry. It's a thing! I, 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 I've got no idea. And I'm sweating profusely because it is so hot. But um, yeah, it's a Thanos Lego figure. It's like two quid or something. I don't, I mean, it's weird. A bit weird to have it on your own. Usually they come in a big set. So that's kind of strange. Oh, there's the gauntlet. Ha ha. He does indeed have a gauntlet. Okay. Uh, I don't really collect Lego stuff, but it's all right. Maybe two quid, because Lego figures go for an insane amount, and that's probably far too cheap for what it actually is. I'm thinking if this is the adult box and it's 11 99 that's probably not the worst thing. You've got a bit of value already, and I think they said with your first box, you get 15% off as well. So that's kind of cool. Whee! What? It's Ken doing the hurricane kick or whatever it's called, and Ryu, uh, who's having a real difficult time with some paint. I don't know, it's Ryo and Ken from Street Fighter. There it is, Street Fighter! Here's the thing, I've seen these for 20 quid, but I've also seen these for two pound, since that's an 18 pound difference. Could be anything. It's a very soft pillow though. I quite like that. I, I'm actually gonna keep that, because I do like it. It's a weird smell, but it's a very fresh smell. So that's good. But yeah, there's Ryu, he's the hero of the piece, and there's Ken, Ken Masters. He's always forgotten, because everyone loves Ryu, apparently. Unless you're like me, and I like Vega, and Sagat. But we've said that before. I think, yeah, probably two quid at the low end of the spectrum, 20 quid on the upper end of the spectrum. Still, it's a different kind of item. It's not a t-shirt, which is a bonus, because I'm sick of t-shirts. What I wouldn't give for a pillow. Next item is, ooh, there's a lot of paper. What is this? Demise, and there's some stuff, and free entry, what? Saturday the 6th of July. Xorcon, York Toy Collector Festival. There you go. There's a toy collector festival in York, if you're there on the 6th of July. York's a beautiful place, so you should probably visit it. Free family fun day, live performances, traders, superheroes. Cool. Find them at demise.co.uk. Check that out. That could be quite fun. There's demise.co.uk. There's the little family that run it. That's kind of cool. Thank you for sending me this, by the way. Buy, sell, and trade. We buy old, new, unwanted toys and figures, comics, and all things geeky, turn it into cash, and trade it for demise collectible points on our website. Why not? This is different. And then the power-up pack thing. I'll throw that on the floor as well. And I think that is it. Oh, wait. There is another item. We don't need that box. Okay. It's another Lego figure. This is way more interesting than I was expecting it to be. It's Daryl Dixon. Look at that. He's even got like the angel wings on his jacket. There's Walker's head. Walker's head. Uh, a Walker head. Not the Walker's head. Like a bag of crisps and a head. But yeah, it's Daryl Dixon with a haircut, and he's even got his little crossbow and stuff. That's... Because these aren't official, are they? These aren't official Lego things, like Lego do, don't do The Walking Dead, so this is a custom piece. That's really nice. Oh, let's just blur, shall we? Camera. Eight quid each. It's alright, you don't have to focus, camera. Don't worry about it. Don't do the only job you've got. There, let's focus on my face. Ah! Uh, I was offered some, and they were like eight quid each, which is insanity. But I don't know, it's quite a nice little thing, that, actually. Um, yeah, a, a custom Lego Walking Dead figure. 
that's kind of strange. I also found out recently that the bloke who does the artwork for The Walking Dead lives, like, down that way. <laughs> like, literally just slightly down that way. Not very far. Uh, which was kind of like, what? Because I was in Shrewsbury, which is literally over there, and apparently he lives there, and he does all the artwork for The Walking Dead, and there was a big museum full of his stuff. Kind of weird. There you go. Yeah, Walking Dead, Daryl, Thing, Lego. Figure. Interesting. So that was the Power Up Pack. That was the Power Up Pack from Demise.co.uk. Let's see everything we had. Daryl Dixon, Lego figure. Thanos, Lego figure. Funko Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Donatello, Funko Pixel figure. Extra Life Gearing. Satanic Animal Cards. Society of Superheroes comic book. Street Fighter Pillow. Price wise, not a clue. Not a clue. Love the pillow. Love the Donatello thing. Comic's cool. These things are a bit strange, the gearing's alright, and the postcards are really, really weird. Who is this? It's clearly not- maybe it's Purple Turnip Man. I don't know. Who is he? Who is he? Don't know. Anyway, 20 quid's worth of value, maybe-ish. 11.99 box. It's not bad. Check them out anyway. Let me know what you think of them. Demise.co.uk. Thank you for sending me that. That was very different to the usual boxes. I really like that. Like, I really, really like that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. If you want to grab one, head over there. There's a 15% discount, apparently, which is very cool. 15% off 11.99 is pew, that number. I don't know. I'm not doing the math for you. You can do that yourself. Anyway, hit the love. Hit the love? Yes, hit the love. Anyway, hit the like, smash the subscribe, drop kick the bell. Do what you like. Do something like that. Do what all YouTubers demand you do. It's so hot, I think I'm going to explode. In the meantime, though, and as always, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.